are living in amazing times of many very key anniversaries. Here at Jerusalem, we've just uh, been celebrating the 100th anniversary of the liberation of Jerusalem. We're celebrating this week the 100th anniversary of the liberation of Jerusalem from hundreds of years of Islamic rule under the Ottomans. Very, very significant time. And now we're coming up on another anniversary, which as Harold has shared with you, is the 70th anniversary of the vote in the United Nations for the recognition of the modern state of Israel. We feel it's very important at this time to join together as intercessors to reaffirm uh, covenantally before the Lord that we desire for our nations to covenant with God and with his purposes for Israel. That the, uh, the foundation of Israel's right to exist is not found uh, in the United Nations. It is found in the Word of God, the eternal Word of God, who overrules all things and who sovereignly overruled so that that United Nations vote could take place at that strategic moment 70 years ago. So as intercessors who are seeking to discern the times and the seasons, we realize that this is the end of one season and the beginning of another season. Israel is coming, as it were, out of exile, out of a place of being more under the domination still of the nations, even though it was a modern recognized state by those nations. But it's a time for Israel to come into her, into her fullness of her identity and her calling with the nations supporting her in that calling, not seeking to control her any longer. So we believe that prayer makes the difference, that God uses our prayers to, to further his purposes upon the earth. And so we invite you either at home, if you're not able to come, but if, if you're able to come, to join us together in New York City, that we could uh, pray into the purposes of God at this strategic moment for Israel and this strategic moment for the future of our nations. God bless you.